Hello everybody, welcome. Today we're going to look at micrometers. Micrometers, or sometimes referred to as outside micrometers, because you can have inside micrometers. This would be an outside micrometer. Uh, is another highly precise measuring tool. It's a precision in me measuring instrument. Um, they are all very similar. It's not the same for the most part. In where this right here, this is the part that does the fine uh, adjustments. This is what gives you the fine precision to take different readings. This is your barrel, thimble, parts, etc. The twisty, the twisty bits that give you the fine control to give you a fine measurement. This here is the frame. This frame is the part that changes from micrometer to micrometer. You can get, <clears throat> they come in varying range of sizes, usually in one inch increments, because the range of measurements that this combo over here will give you is one inch. Measure from zero to one inch. That's the range of measurements that this will give you. But you can get different frames that start out in different sizes. For example, this particular one is a 1 to 2 inch micrometer. The reason it's 1 to 2 inch is because if we zero this out, we come down to zero, it's reading zero. You notice that we have a 1 inch gap here. This cannot measure any less than 1 inch. This is the frame for a 1 to 2 inch. So the range of measurement that you have with this particular caliper, uh, micrometer, pardon my things, the range of measuring that you have with this particular micrometer is from 1 inch to 2 inch. That's how much reading you can do with this particular one. Now, as you can see, let's see, let, we have a calibration 1 inch gauge. We can start out by making sure that this is still calibrated. This has been calibrated to be one inch. And as you can see, we are reading zero right on the money. So this is measuring right now one inch. So that's how you can get to start to measure from one inch up to two inches. Because this will open up up to two inches. Now, the reading that you get from a micrometer that is divided into the, the the one inch span that you have to measure is divided into 10 equal parts just like in the slide caliper that I've covered in two other videos in inches and metric using the same caliper this is the same type of divisions for fine measurements you get one inch and you divide it into 10 equal parts this would be 0.1 of an inch 0.2 0.3 half an inch at 0.5 or a hundred thousandths of an inch, two hundred thousandths, three hundred thousandths, etc, etc. Now each tenth of an inch gets further divided see, into, <laughs> into four equal parts. That means that each one of those little four equal parts is equivalent to 25 thousandths of an inch. Because if we have agreed that this would be one hundred thousandths of an inch or one tenth of an inch, if you get one hundred thousandths divisions in here, you divide that by four and you get twenty five thousandths, fifty thousandths, seventy five thousandths, one hundred thousandths, and that brings you to one tenth of an inch. Now, Let's say that we take a measurement that is somewhere in between, in between the 25 thousandths. And now we're getting into the beauty of this type of instrument. That it, will, it can give you a level of precision up to 1 thousandths of an inch. That's four decimal places. Uh, this can give you 1 thousandth of an inch. But how can that be, you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. If the smallest scale that we can look at here is 25 thousandths, how can we possibly look at 1 thousandth in there? 
Well, that is where this puppy here comes in. If we start, if you look at, let's see, let's start at half an inch. And again, if you've seen one or the other two of my previous videos regarding the slide caliper, you would know that the zero in here is your pointer. This is the one giving you a reading. <clears throat> so you start at zero here, you line up your zero with your line. That would be indicating that you're reading, in this case, one and a half inches, because you're starting from zero at one inch, and then you're a half inch beyond that. So you're looking at one and a half inches. But we'll just concentrate on the half on the, uh, on the fractions over here. We're looking at half inch. One complete revolution of the thimble brings you to the next tick mark, which is 25 thousandths. And look at this. There's 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 thousandths. So each complete revolution of this is counting up thousands of an inch. But actually, you know what? I just realized this is not one thousandth. Pardon my mistake again. This is not one thousandth of an inch. This is one ten thousandth of an inch. This is reading thousandths of an inch. So if we start at, let's go back to half inch again. These are half inch. We start at one thousandth half inch plus 1,000, that would be 501 thousandths of an inch. 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 10, 15, 20, and we come to 25 thousandths. So this is giving you the 1 thousandths scale precision. But what if what you're measuring lands somewhere in between your 1 thousandths readings? Let's say if whatever you're measuring is landed here. How do you know if you're on, how far into the next thousandth you are? How do you know if this is one, two, 2.5, 2.6, You don't, that's, to get that level of precision, to get that one ten thousandth of an inch precision, that's when you move into the Vernier scale. If you look at this Vernier scale, it is also divided in 1 through 10. And whenever what that is doing is getting your finest measurement from here, your one thousandth of an inch measurement, and it's blowing it up and it's zooming it out into that much, into that big, making, making it much, much easier to get a reading between here and here. So you're basically dividing one thousandth of an inch into 10 equal parts. That's where you get your extra digit of precision and you get one ten thousandth of an inch precision. So in this case, if we're looking at half inch plus 25 thousandths, 21, 22, uh, 25, that would be 26, because we're starting from 25 thousandths, one more thousand would be 26, 27, and let's say we stopped it right here. To know exactly how far you are into the 28th um, thousand here, that's when you come into here and you start sweeping from zero, one to three, you start sweeping across like that until your tick marks from the veneer scale line up with the tick marks on your thimble. We start going across until we land. Let's look. I think it looks like number four over here is lined up. That means that we are four ten thousandths of an inch past that ten thousandths over here. So this would be 1.5, 25, 2.6, and 0.4. One inch, because we're starting from one inch in this particular frame. Starting from one inch, we've gone a half inch beyond that, or 1.5 inches. We've gone 25 thousandths of, of an inch here, that's your next tick mark. That is 25 thousandths here. And then we've gone 
in one thousandth of an inch we've gone 26, 27, and then a little more. That little more, so far we're at 1.5, 2, 6, 7, so 1.5274. And again, this here is your vernier scale. That is what gives you that fourth digit level of precision. That is where you get that fourth uh, decimal place from. That vernier scale, which is the case, by the way, it's the case in every other vernier, vernier scaled measuring instrument that you will come across. The point of the vernier scale is to take your smallest division and zooms it out to give you that to break that down and give you that much level of precision in this case we don't have any more tick marks at the 1000th uh, level so we can't really get a reading from that that would be the limit if you didn't have the vernier scale that would be the limit of your precision one thousandth of an inch Beyond that, you'd be guessing at a half of a thou, a quarter, a third, whatever, but you're guessing. The veneer scale gives you with certainty that level of precision that takes one thousandth of an inch, or whatever your smallest scale on your whatever instrument you're using, it takes that smallest, smallest scale and zooms it up, blows it up in size so you can get a finer reading. And again, in this case, Let's say we wanted to see where I was here and subdivide this one thousandth of an inch. This is when you come into here, you start panning from one, from zero, start going across. And you see how your tick marks are offset and they start getting closer and closer and closer until they line up. That's your reading. Your, your six ten thousandths of an inch into this one thousandth. You're 0.6 of a thousandth of an inch. So you are six ten thousandths of an inch into the next one thousand. I hope that makes sense. Is it? Any questions? Uh, feel free to post them in comments or I'll try to answer it. Uh, hopefully this is specific enough, clear enough. But I'm not in your head. So any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll uh, I'll try to answer them. Take care. See you guys next time.